Hey guys, uh, user interaction design. So I'm pretty opinionated and I always see this problem. Here, have a look at this. Talking about a car's... The key is about customization. You see, you see how that, in that video that was demonstrating how to, how would... When you are in how in this car you would use gesture control to to basically choose something on that dashboard and some of those things um, those hit points were very very small well that's a, a sure sign of just terrible user interaction de design there's there's this thing called Fitz law which basically says that you know the, the easier the bigger the target the easier it is to interact with and this is why I really like DWM and tiling window managers. For example, here, like if I split the window, I, it's now like you know trivial for me to 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 switch focus between these two windows, because basically I'm maximizing the possibility of Fitz law. And similarly, when I when I stack the windows, it's also um, well, it's not exactly a third, but. But it, you know, the tiling window manager maximizes your surface area. Um, you know, furthermore, on on, um, on DWM, um, it's also got um, keyboard shortcuts to make it easier to get around. Uh, let me just demonstrate. Uh, yeah, <sighs> sorry, I'm getting confused. It's HJ here. <laughs> I'm getting confused what the shortcuts are. Uh, so. The important thing here is not the keyboard shortcuts. The important thing here is that I can move between these windows using the mouse, using my, the gestures, whatever you, very, very easily. And unfortunately, whenever I see a user interface that requires me to click on something tiny like a checkbox, I just think that designer doesn't know the basics of Fitz Law. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please give me give it the video a thumbs up. Bye guys.